Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Brian the Floridian. So I'm back, back in the shave den, but I'm not gonna be making a shave video today. I'm gonna be making a different kind of video. So let me explain. So today, well actually throughout the whole weekend, I was in Target, Walmart, I even went to CVS uh, yesterday, and I noticed that people are just buying up the hand sanitizer. I mean, it's flying off the shelves, people are buying the wipes, the antibacterial wipes, and it just got to me, I mean, it got me thinking, um, if they're out on the shelf, I mean, what do you do for, if you're stuck and you can't wash your hands anywhere in the bathroom or bathroom that close by, and I just, and I just got me thinking, just make your own hand sanitizer. And this is a um, recipe, that I'm, I'm going to be sharing, with, sharing to you guys a recipe that I've seen and I've used myself and it's been quite effective for getting rid of germs in your hands and also by making your own you can basically tailor, tailor it to the way it smells and the way it moisturizes your hands. So anyway, this stuff is pretty much, like I said, fly off the shelves. People are just going crazy over the coronavirus, over the flu. Um, I got the flu myself a few weeks ago and I was using this stuff to make sure my family didn't get sick. So I can see how important this stuff is. But let me show you my, my special ingredients. And it's a, it's a, it's a, and the ingredients are really simple. You can get them at any uh, drugstore, um, any, any uh, grocery store, Walmart, Target. I mean, they're pretty really, really available. So let me show you guys and I'll be right back to show you my ingredients. Let me show you what, what I'm talking about. All right, guys, these are my ingredients for my do-it-yourself hand sanitizer. So you want to have at least four, well, you can have three things, main things, but I have four right here. So you want to have at least this, which is the isopropyl alcohol. 61% uh, or better is actually ideal. This is 70%, and this is from Walmart. I think I paid about less than $2 for this whole bottle. So, I mean, most there's a lot of places that sell the 50% isopropyl alcohol, which, I mean, which would do in a pinch if you had to, but the more concentration, the better. And you also want to kind of thicken the um, sanitizer, or basically give it a base. And I use this stuff here, which is aloe vera gel. This is from Dollar Tree. This is like for a dollar. But you can find this stuff in the sunburn section of a drugstore or Dollar Tree, you know, any kind of uh, store you go to, Target. Walmart, Walgreens, or CVS. And this is surprisingly a, an effective ingredient in this do-it-yourself hand sanitizer. This is a tea tree oil. So this is an effective anti-microbial uh, oil that actually kind of helps prevent, you know, actually cuts down again germs or actually effective against germs. So normally I can normally... Uh, a lot of hand sanitizers only use these two things right here, but this is since we're doing it, my, you know, doing it at home and doing it yourself. I'm just I'm just adding a little bit more to it to make it more effective. And believe it or not, this one, this the tea tree oil actually makes it pretty strong smelling. So if you want to balance it out and make it a little more tolerable, you can actually add uh, lavender oil to it, and it actually has some um, antimicrobial properties also, and this actually makes it smell better. And I got these ingredients here. I also forgot to add, forgot to show you this other ingredient that I use. I also use vitamin E oil to keep it keep your hand from drying out from the alcohol because the alcohol itself is really is really pretty much drying to your skin. So this is actually pretty good for nourishment nourishment for your hand or for your hands when you're using the uh, hand sanitizer. But this is another, another ingredient I use also. But I have these, really, it's five ingredients here. Or, you know, you can just use these two right here if you really want to do one in a pinch. But I just add a little bit more to mine. And I have this bottle, which is a, which is actually from a soap dispenser for a hand, sen a hand soap dispenser that I'm going to use for putting my do-it-yourself hand sanitizer in this bottle here. So these are ingredients, guys. Let me show you what I do, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. So you want to get a measuring cup. And you want to put at least one fourth uh, a cup of this stuff here, which is the aloe vera gel in there. So let's go ahead and do that real quick here. I'm doing this with one handed with the camera in my hand. So I'm going to try to do this gracefully here. Let's see if I can do this here gracefully. Might have to do this off camera and show you guys. 
which I will. Hang on one second. All right, guys, that's one fourth a cup of the aloe vera gel, and then you want to add about two, about three fourths a cup of the alcohol, the isopropyl alcohol. So let me go ahead and do that real quick here. I can probably do this with one hand. So. So you want to go about right to that three-fourths a cup level right there, that line right there. All right, so that's about three-fourths a cup right there. All right, guys, I'm back. So this is the tree tree oil here. So you want to, I usually add about 10 drops to this concoction. So this is, a, I got this from CVS for... I want to say it's like five dollars for this little, maybe one ounce bottle here. But go ahead and add about ten drops here. It's about ten drops, roughly about that much. I mean, it's it's okay to add a little bit more if you have to, but uh, or if you accidentally add a few more drops, it's okay. Um, this just makes your hands smell a little bit stronger. Tea, tea tree. So I got this also from, this is from Walmart actually. This is lavender oil from Walmart. This is about five, about $10 also. This is about, actually, this is about half an ounce bottle here. So I do about, you know, five to 10 drops for, you know, per this concoction here. Let's go ahead and do like, I'll do, I'll do about 10 drops. Make it more even with the with the uh, tea tree oil too. All right, that's roughly ten, and there might be a couple more since it escaped the bottle. But let's go ahead and use that, and I'm gonna also use the vitamin E oil. So this is the vitamin E oil that I have. I had this for a while, so I'm not sure how much this was, but I believe I got it from Walmart. This is about, it's a small bottle, it's about uh, 2.5 ounces, and I usually add about half a teaspoon of this stuff to the uh, mixture right here. So this is a half a teaspoon, so you can also grab you a, you know, a teaspoon, uh, half a teaspoon measure here, which I have right here. So I'm gonna put this in there, which I got the vitamin E oil in there right now. So I'm gonna add it to the mixture here. And this stuff's a little thick. You don't wanna to add too much vitamin E oil to this mixture because it'll make it a little bit greasy. But you wanna add enough to make sure your hands are moisturized and not too dried up for the alcohol. So anyway, you take that in there. And then, basically you just mix it up. And I have a little plastic spoon. This is like a kid's spoon. I'm just gonna use this for for just for just for um, purposes of showing you guys, so I just go ahead and mix this up. When mix this up as as thoroughly as possible. Yeah, so you just want to keep mixing it up and just kind of making sure everything mixes well. And I usually kind of mix it for about a minute or so. Make sure that the aloe vera gel is pretty mixed up with alcohol and also the essential oils that are in this concoction as well as the vitamin E oil and man I can smell the tea tree oil right now so I put just the amount just probably just the right amount in there you don't want to go too crazy with that stuff because that stuff because your hands will, will be smelling like tea tree oil pretty much all day long if you keep if you put this stuff on your hands but anyway just go ahead and mix it up and it does actually kind of get a little more solid over time, more thicker, if that makes any sense. But go ahead and mix it up. You keep mixing it up about a minute or so. And let's see, it looks pretty good right there. Let me go ahead and stop. So, anyway, guys, after you're done mixing it up, you want to have a bottle to pour it into or maybe like a little carrying um, a small container. So I got this, this is a soap dispenser. I wanna believe, I'm like a Meyer soap, hand soap dispenser. So I'm gonna pour it in here. It's got a small opening, so I'm gonna actually put it in. I usually put it through a funnel, but I don't have a funnel with me. So I'm gonna put it 
in a plastic bag, like a sandwich bag, and cut the cut the uh, corner of it and just funnel it in there. So let me show you guys how I do that. All right, guys. So I poured it into this sandwich bag. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it to one side and cut a corner, which is right there with it with the scissors, and just basically pour it right into that bottle there. Let me show you guys real quick. So I got my bag cut in the corner. So all I got to do is kind of put that tip right in that bottle and just basically just funnel it right in the bottle. All right, guys. So I took my homemade hand sanitizer and funneled it right into this bottle here and this is an old uh, Myers hand soap bottle so as you can tell I got plenty of room to make some more which I will do off camera but I just want to show you guys pretty simple as that to make not very hard pretty simple ingredients and if you guys see the shelves empty at your Target or Walmart or wherever store you go to definitely you got definitely um, options to make your own which I which I do myself you know, I make my own just to, you know, because I can choose my own own ingredients and make, you know, make the scent to my liking. And also, when I make my own, I don't have that drying effect from the ones you get from the store. And I still have the effective uh, germ killing properties in this stuff here. So anyway, guys, I use this stuff all the time for my, I have a special needs daughter that, that touches everything. And this stuff works. It keeps her hands germ free, keeps my hands germ free. But I just want to let you guys know there's options out there if you don't see it on the shelves. Make your own. And hope you guys have a good weekend. Let me know if you guys like these do-it-yourself videos that I'll do from time to time. But I uh, just want to show you, show you, share you guys what I do at home for uh, making my own hand sanitizer. Hope you guys have a good weekend. Take care. Stay safe.